All right. All right, here we are. Even here, they're not even powered up yet. They're so clean. Um, very nice finish. Um, the Vengeance RGG Pro from Corsair is, in my opinion, is very good looking memory. I mean, RGB is very well too, especially with their Q software when it's not conflicting with other stuff, but um, it works super well. So there's the memory. And we'll work with that more later when we do the build. Um, I don't have the case and everything out here. We're going to put all this in a thermal take. I think it's called an X9 cube. It's a very big cube. It's just a block cube. Um, because that's what we have right now. And we'll see. We're, we're thinking about going with a standing desk. We'd like to get a bit more of a workout when we're at our desks um we're just not there yet i'm trying to figure out if we're gonna build our desks out of um i'm forgetting what it's called uh oh what is it called it's called it's the same stuff that um monster tech has made their their flight stick uh, desk mount out of and I'm drawing a blank right now I just can't remember what it's called but this is the motherboard we chose um, this is the Asus Asus you know say it how you want to ROG Maximus 12 formula and we were gonna go with the the Apex um, but the Apex only had two memory slots and that pretty much canned it for us because we wanted more than two memory slots and so we didn't go that direction. Um, and the other board we have that we run in our 9900K is an MSI Ace. And we've had nothing but good luck with it. It's been a really great board. Um, but we wanted to go with Asus this time. So here we are. And we just got this in a few days ago too. I'm not going to pull it all out just because of time and stuff we can check it out here it's a great looking board um and one of the main reasons we picked up this one is because we wanted uh all these memory slots we wanted the four memory slots um and the drms here are cooled on this it's water cooled and we thought about picking up one of the other boards like the hero and putting a block on it because they make a block that covers the vrms sorry i said the drms the vrms they make a block that goes over the vrms and we decided to not go in that direction um because it was like the price was almost the same by the time actually i think it was more it was more to just get the hero board and then get that water block and mount it all and you didn't get the full warranty and everything with it because you um, because the the block didn't come on the board, you know, and I told Kyrie I was like well We can pick up the formula and it has it's actually a hybrid system. It will cool fine just like this But we're fully running underwater a custom water system. So um, And we could check that out later, too uh, But uh, so we're gonna jump from the processor to the VRMs and back out and then into the rest of the loop um, but yeah, it's it's definitely a really good looking board. Um, I said I wasn't going to take it out, but maybe I should. There we go. Okay. Make some room here. Okay, and they give us a, the normal CD and there's a badge in there. Thank you for purchasing purchasing this rogue product. You've made the choice of champions. I like that. The choice of champions. I learned more about your passion to learn more about your passion for gaming and to receive news about the latest. Okay, that's the same old, same old. Um, we've got contact information. How to call them at home in the middle of the night when your board breaks. <laughs> um. A really nice badge set here. Uh, these are really nice, actually. 
we might use these at some point. Maybe when we get into the more permanent. The Thermaltake X9 is not our permanent solution for this. Um, we do intend to have it out more. Our 9900K build is in a open case. It's behind glass, tempered glass. It's very good looking. Uh, the system went together very well. Uh, these are nice, nice stickers. I'm not usually big on the stickers, but those are pretty nice. Um, what else we got here? Yeah, the board or the the manual. Anything else hiding in here? Okay, we've got some SATA cables. We've got. What we got here? Oh, this looks like an RGB cable. That looks like a, a, another kind of RGB cable. We got some posts sitting here. Yep, these are for the um, uh, the M.2 mounts. Some more SATA cables. Um, here we have the uh, antenna for the onboard Wi-Fi. Um, it's got 3M here. Oop, another sweet badge. That one's pretty nice. That's got some weight to it. I wonder what that one weighs. Let's see real quick. It didn't even register. It's not even registering. It's less than a gram. It, you can feel the weight in your hand, though. Like, it's got some weight to it. I'm surprised it's not reading. It's got to weigh more than a gram. I don't know. Anyway, um, this looks like a keychain? It is. It's a keychain. Verbal did that, too. They sent us these alphas, and they sent us a keychain that comes with them. I'll show you guys later. That's got, uh, it's got an alpha, um, trinket on it. And now, uh, Asus gave us one, too. Keychains must be the thing now, huh? Uh, yeah, some small, some other miscellaneous stuff. Okay, we'll put all that back in there. There we go. Oh. Got to separate it so it fits. There we go. Okay. So let's close the board. Close the box, not the board. Um, let's see here. How do we pull this out of here without dropping it? Okay. Just come out. It's hitting when I pull it up. There it goes. Here we are. Okay. So yeah, it's got hybrid cooling, so it will cool with the air, the VRMs here, or water. Um, let's look at the IO. Um, the shield is built on. This is another reason we went with it, is because it had the dual Ethernet and the Wi-Fi on it, which we're actually taking advantage of these now. So... It does have a Type C, multiple 3.0, uh, or is it 3.2 now? I guess um, USBs. Um, you know your sound card. This is, I think, this is a Wi-Fi 6 uh, AX speed. You know the super fast now. Then you got your BIOS buttons and stuff. So, and they got this mean looking armor plating back here now. And there's the other SATA. I'm sorry, not SATA. The other M.2 uh, connection right there. Um, but these are really nice back end board here to stiffen up the board or plate to stiffen up the board. I did a really nice job on it, but we will mess with this later. And so, yeah, we're not going to put it in the thermal take X nine permanently. It's just where it's going to be for now. Uh, we'll have to figure out how our standing desks are going to work. We're not really sure about that yet. Uh, I thought about building part of them out of wood because the difference in the wood price to the standing price is massive. Uh, massive, massive difference in price. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, if you do some of it out of wood versus all of it out of the other stuff, which I'm drawing a blanket, what it's called right now. 
Uh, but we'll catch up on that again later. But I priced I priced part of the desk, and without even the hardware, it was like I want to say it was like eight hundred dollars without hardware. And the hardware is like three, four, five dollars a pop for every piece, and you need like you know two, three, four dozen pieces. So there's another you know hundred to two hundred dollars in in hardware. So it's like yeah, it's like a thousand dollar desk. It's industrial when you're done which is like phenomenal but it's just so crazy so we're we're still working on that we haven't figured that out yet um all right so that's the board we chose okay what else we got here uh we're not gonna go over that liquid yet well we will i got it i'll go over it we picked this up from i don't know if it was new egg or amazon it was like 90 bucks we actually bought this um when we sold the 2700x we were gonna put this on it for the guy and then but the case we ended up having this would not have fit you know, and so it was like oh oh well you know it won't fit um we did still put an air cooler on it and we did water cool the gpu for him and so it was still rocking when it left but it never did end up getting this and so here it sits and we may end up using this temporarily at some point. I'm not going to take it all out right now. If we use it later, we'll pull it out. But it's a Master Liquid ML240L V2 RGB with third gen dual chamber pump technology. We are not using an all-in-one. Um, neither of our main systems uses all-in-ones. All-in-ones.